Hey everyone, my name is Hexaberry, and today I'll be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I know all three of you who watch my videos are used to me posting gaming content. Well, today I figured I would make a review over a bicycle I recently purchased and had a few days of riding to give my thoughts on. This is my first bike review, so don't expect professional details down to an atomic level. So this is the Retrospec 58cm 7-speed Beaumont City bike in a sweet matte black paint job with some tan accents. I only really bought this bike because I loved how it looked. I love old and vintage style of things, so this just works perfect for me. I also haven't ridden a bike since I was about 12 years old, so I felt the urge to get back into it. I bought this bike from the Retrospec website for $400, although I could have saved a little over $100 if I bought the version that was on sale, which would be the Legacy variant. I asked the support chat what the difference was between the Legacy version and the non-Legacy version. They say that the non-Legacy version is the latest 2023 model with a stronger 3-piece crank set, so knowing that stronger is better, I spent the $400 for the non-Legacy version. Once the bike was delivered within the week of ordering, I ran into an issue. I had to put the thing together myself. Luckily the chain, rear brakes, rear wheel, rear fender, and rack, and most of the frame were all attached and ready to go. The front wheel, front brakes, handles, seat, pedals, and front fender needed to be installed. For the most part it was fairly simple, but I can guarantee the front brakes were meant to be put together by certified NASA employees. The way I installed them, I get stopping power, but I have to pull back a lot more than I do for the rear brakes. The tires need aired up a bit, but that was expected and the seat took some getting used to. The whole riding experience needed some getting used to since it's been 10 to 11 years since I last rode. I wasn't used to the thin wheels and also sitting up high was pretty odd, uh, but I got used to that pretty quickly. Shifting was so smooth and I could get up to some good speeds while in the higher gears with no rattling or concerns. The tires for one look cool but also provide a good amount of grip when going around turns. Front and rear fenders provide protection from dirt, mud, water, and whatever else you decide to ride through that might get kicked up. The rear rack has a cool little mousetrap type mechanism which I use to hold small and thin items. The rack also has capabilities to hold larger crates or bags which I might put to use sooner or later. There is a bell which is nice and loud to warn people up ahead, and even a spot to install a water bottle holder for those who need it. Riding around on the Beaumont City bike is one of the most relaxing things I've done and I can see the benefit of owning a bike in a city. It just depends on where you ride though. I live in Wichita, Kansas and trying to get to Sedgwick County Park on a bike is a nightmare, especially around rush hour. I think cities should improve routes for those who commute on bikes, and cities should spend less time focusing on car dependent infrastructure. Now, that's just my opinion, but let me know what you think in the comments. That will conclude my review, so if you enjoy this content, I might invest in a GoPro or something to record rides around the city. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.